friends, welcome to Circle Time. I am Caroline from the Khan Academy Kids team, and I am here today with my friend Sophie. Hello, Sophie. Hi, Caroline. Hi, friends. It's so nice to see you today. So today we are going to do some planting. We are going to plant a seed. Wow, that's one of my favorite things to do inside at the moment is to bring the outside inside by planting lots of seeds and little plants and making it so green. Wonderful. Well, let me put on my gardening gloves. Oh, they are very nice. That's so your hands don't get too dirty when you're doing all the planting. Uh-huh. And I have some pots. Oh, wow. And what else do we need to plant a seed? Well, we need the seeds themselves. Well, I have some seeds here today. I have, let's see. Oh, an African daisy here. Oh. That would probably grow into a flower. I have some flowers here like this. <gasps> oh, that's beautiful. Uh -huh. What other things can you grow from seeds? Well, I really like to grow herbs. I have chives, which are a kind of herb. Oh, that's great. I have these. Wow. These are some that I planted. These are actually chives, these stringy ones at the back here. And this is basil and cilantro. And I planted them from tiny little seeds. I think about the week that we all stopped going to school, I first planted these. So you see, it doesn't take all that long to grow from a seed to a little seedling to getting to be quite a nice plant. Uh-huh, they grow very quickly. Yeah, they do. You have to give them lots of nice soil, uh -huh. give them plenty of room in their pot, uh -huh. and keep them watered with a little sprinkle. I use a spray bottle of water going shh, 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 shh. Yeah, that's, that's how you turn those seeds that you have into a plant. Wow, friends, can you think of other things that have seeds inside them that you might be able to use to plant? Maybe something you eat? Oh, you mean like an apple? Uh-huh. That has seeds? Uh-huh. So then the seeds grow into a tree? Eventually. It will take some time. An apple orange. tree. Orange. Ooh. Or a lemon. Or a pear. Uh-huh. Or even a pepper. Ooh, yeah, they have lots of little seeds inside. I, mm -hmm. I've seen them before. That's right. And yes, most fruit have a seed inside. And then they grow into a tree or a bush. And then the tree or a bush will have the fruit on it that you can pick eventually. Wow. That's so great. I wish we could learn even more about planting seeds. Uh-huh. I have a book. Great. How about we read that? So today we're going to read a book called Plant a Seed by Cynthia Platt. Rhea had some bean seeds. She wanted to plant them, water them, and watch them grow. Digging in the dirt would be fun. Oh no, said Rhea. There is a snail. She picked up the snail. You can't stay here, Rhea exclaimed. You will eat my seeds. Rhea did not want anyone to eat her seeds. Rhea was going to plant her seeds, but then she saw a beetle. Beetles are not good to have in a garden, Rhea said. They eat seeds and plants. Rhea was ready to plant her seeds, but... Oh no, Rhea cried. Where are my seeds? 
Rhea's seeds were gone. Peck, have you seen my seeds? asked Rhea. Did you eat my seeds, Peck? asked Rhea. Peck spit out the seeds. I did, Peck said. I love to eat seeds. But if you eat them, I can't plant them, said Rhea. How does Rhea look now? Oh, Rhea looks a bit mad and a bit sad because Peck, I don't think he knew, but Rhea wanted to plant those seeds and then Peck got hungry and he nibbled them up. Oops, I didn't know you wanted to plant them, Peck said. I can put them in the dirt with my beak. Let's try that, said Rhea. Then we wait for the seeds to grow. Rhea and Peck planted the seeds and gave them water. Hmm, that seems kind of handy that Peck could actually put them in the dirt with his sharp beak. Yeah, that's good. I think Rhea looks a lot happier with Peck now because Peck is being helpful, not getting in the way by eating the seeds. <laughs> that's right, he's being a good friend. Mm -hmm. A few weeks later, the seeds grew into beans. Now we can eat beans, exclaimed Rhea. Neat, Peck said. Wow, so these seeds changed into beans. Whoa, beans are so good for you and they're so delicious. It looks like they're having some on their picnic blanket. Mm-hmm. They were patient and they waited and now they have beans. Can you see the bean stalks, the bean plants in this picture? Uh-huh. This is the word bean that we were talking about. And if you listen to the word bean, in the middle of the word is the long E sound. So E-A together makes the E sound in bean. And this is another word, seeds. And that also has the E sound in the middle, but this time there are two E's. So seeds has the long E sound with the E E. So here's a sentence. Rhea had some bean seeds. Can you find the word seeds? Oh yeah, I can see the seed sounds. Seeds at the end of the sentence. Uh -huh. Seeds. Great. That's the word. Seeds. And here's another word, beetle. Also with the long E sound, two E's. Beetle. Then a beetle came. Can you find the word beetle in the sentence? Yeah, I see the long E sound in beetle. Beetle. Great. That's the word beetle. All right, do you remember the word beans? It has the long E sound. Which one um, do we need to use to drag it to make the word beans? A. That's the short E sound, E. What about this one? A. That's an A sound. E. Beans, should we try that one? Yeah, let's. Cool beans, you spelled Beans. That's the word beans. Rhea picked up a blank. What did she pick up? Can you see the picture? It looks like this is a tricky one because Rhea did have some seeds, but it looks like the thing that Rhea picked up was the snail. Mm hmm. Snail. You made the sentence, Rhea picked up a snail. Awesome! What other vegetables do you think they might like to eat? Ooh, I think probably the cucumber. And maybe the corn and the... T 
tomato or you say tomato. Uh -huh. Oh, great. And so now after reading the book, Plant a Seed, we have a special surprise today. I love special surprises. What is the special surprise today? Well, we have one of our good friends, teacher Sarah is going to show us how to plant an actual seed. Hello, Teacher Sarah. Hi, Teacher Sarah. Hi, Caroline. Hi, friends. I'm here in my garden today, and I'm so excited to show you how to plant a seed. It's really easy. You only need three things. You need a seed, soil, and some water. So if you can get to the store, you can buy some seeds that come in packets, like these peas, or carrots, or even pumpkins, so you can carve your own jack-o'-lanterns. If you're looking for some flowers, sunflowers are a really easy seed to grow. If you can't make it to the store, you can look around your kitchen and see if you can find some fruits that have seeds inside, like a lemon, or an apple, or even an avocado. An avocado has one big seed inside. And I found a potato. A potato is not a seed, but if you have a potato that has started to grow these things called eyes, that means you can just put it in the soil and you'll start to grow a new potato plant. Today, I happen to have some sunflower seeds that I didn't buy at the store. I harvested them, which means I picked them from the sunflowers I grew in my garden last year. And I have a lot of seeds here because I had a lot of big sunflowers last year, but I only need one or two. So I have my seeds and I have my soil. I filled up a pot that I had with my soil almost to the top. If you don't have a pot, you could look outside in your yard and see if you have a space that has some soil where you could just put your seeds right in the ground. If you don't have a garden or you don't have a special pot, you can just go look in your kitchen recycling bin and see if you have any container, like an old yogurt container or a jar, anything that you can put soil in with your seeds. So let's get started. I have my soil here and I'm gonna use my finger to make a small hole in the soil. If I have just one seed, I'll make one hole and I'll put my seed inside that hole and cover it gently. And then maybe over on the other side, I'll make another hole and add my second seed and cover it gently. So right now at the top of my soil, I should not be able to see my seeds anymore. The next thing I need to do is get some water to water my seeds. And you don't need too much water, but you want just enough to make the soil a little bit wet. So I'll water my seeds. That looks good. And done. I've planted my seed. Now I need to put my pot somewhere where there's some sunshine. And now I just have to wait. I need to be patient because it could take five or maybe 10 days to start to see my seed growing out of the soil. But something very special is happening inside the soil while we wait. My seed is opening and some roots are reaching down into the soil to get nutrients or food for the plant to grow. And then you might see a stem start to poke up through the soil and maybe some leaves start to grow. And every day as you take care of your plant and water it a little bit every day and make sure it gets sunshine every day, you might start to see more and more leaves grow and maybe even a flower. And that's it. That's how you plant a seed and watch it grow. Thanks for hanging out with me. See you next time. Bye, Caroline. Bye, friends. Thank you so much, Teacher Sarah, for showing us all about planting a seed. Friends, what did you think about that? 
Oh, we thought that was great. I loved how we were outside in the dirt, really planting seeds. That is so much fun. Mm -hmm. Do you think that our friends could try planting a seed? It could be a real seed. It could be outdoors. It could be indoors. It could even be an imaginary seed. That's right. And you could plant a seed or you could draw a seed and maybe draw the plant that it becomes. Mm. It grows in the soil and then it pops up out of the soil and starts growing like some of Sophie's plants. Oh, that's so much fun. I think that we we'll definitely love to draw some seeds growing into plants. And friends, if you want to ask your grown up, maybe your parent, to send us a picture of what you draw, we would love to see it. Thanks so much. Maybe we can show it on Show and Tell. That would be great. Yes. Well, thank you so much, friends, for joining us today. It was wonderful to see you, and we will see you next time. Goodbye for now from Caroline, Sophie, and the Khan Academy Kids team. Bye-bye. Bye, friends.